Hi, happy Tuesday. This is going to be a very controversial show for my Amber shows. It's the first time I'm going to go ahead and take it there. And your comments are welcome. Your opinions are welcome. Your thumbs up or not thumbs up is welcome. Uh, I'm going to use my constitutional right to say, to use my freedom of speech. Just to say a couple things that I'm aware of and feeling. Okay, the President Obama, uh, when he did push uh, the law into effect with Congress for marriage equality, and which has been accepted, and there is marriage equality now all over the United States. My reason for being happy for the president is because there were so many different things he tried to do that he was all, always, always um, put down for it, and it was never accepted. So I know that he put in a good fight for a lot of things. Now, what I'm thinking about right now is a video that I was made aware of today when then Senator Barack Obama spoke on how he would never ever agree with marriage equality because in the traditional way of it, love, marriage, children, being with a man and a woman. That's how it has been since, as far as we all know, since the beginning of time, if we want to start with Adam and Eve. After I saw this video today where the president was against it, of course, anyone can change their mind because it's the sign of the times. So this is why I'm more or less for marriage equality because it is a sign of the times and there's nothing you can do about it. I also do believe that there are people who are born gay, that they are born feeling they are in the wrong body. They are born feeling as though, even though they may have the genitals and body parts of a female or a male, they feel the opposite. My problem is with those who want to try things or who, or who have been influenced by homosexuality and then they act upon it. I think that there are people who influence other people who also want to, people who want to try things. You know, they call them the triers. The triers, they want to try being gay, they want to try having orgies, they want to try having threesomes. These are just, to me, perversions. Again, this is my own opinion. Some of you may agree. This is the time where you can't really speak your mind about things. You can't say certain words. You can't use the word midget. You can't use the word nigga. You can't use the word African American. You can't use the word cracker. You can't use the word this. You can't use the word that. Everything. Don't use the word fat. Don't use the word everything. You know, you can't say anything anymore. So I'm going to use this time to say that I am happy for the gay people who really and truly feel that this, from their core, that this is the lifestyle that they were meant to live. Not a person who gets married, has five children, and then they all of a sudden turn around and say they want to be gay and just make everyone else's life miserable. There's a reality show called Becoming Us that's on Lifetime Channel, if you guys get a chance to, to check it out. And it's about, just like Caitlyn Jenner, a man who is married, has a son, and then now all of a sudden he's a woman. And his wife, you know, this has uh, uprooted her. You know, you're married 20 years, and then all of a sudden, now your whole life changes because you're thinking that you have grown with this 
individual, male or female, that you've grown with them and made uh, a life with them and had children or not had children and had a dog or not a dog, you had a house. You just did things together thinking that this is the life you're going to be because when you make that vow, that's what you think how it's going to be. And then the other person decides to change their gender. And I think when they just do that like that, I think it's very selfish because now you're hurting so many people to make yourself happy after all these years. So this is what I wanted to say. I really feel like there is some perversions in this society and we have to get a hold on them. I mean, what isn't uh, any longer taboo? Um, people just feel like they can do anything and you know, just be anybody and it's, it's, can't you hold back on some things? Remember in the closet, there were people who would just, you know, live their lifestyles and be in the closet. What was wrong with that? Um, and there were many celebrities, uh, Johnny Mathis, Rock Hudson, Liberace, even though Liberace was flamboyant, he never ever said that he was gay. He never even admitted to having uh, AIDS when he died. Rock Hudson never admitted to having AIDS until he died from it. You know, people knew that they couldn't sell records or they couldn't, people wouldn't come to their movies. Uh, the same with Sammy Davis Jr. He wanted white women his whole life. And they knew him and Kim Novak. Kim Novak lost her whole career. She was one of Hollywood's biggest starlets. And because she wanted to say she loved Sammy Davis, she was nothing anymore. She was blackballed. So a lot of times you take your own, your own feelings and make them more prevalent than all the other people around you. There are more people in this world than just yourself and especially in your family and your immediate surroundings. So um, if you get a chance, uh, look up uh, Senate, uh, just put in for YouTube, Senator Barack Obama as a senator talking about uh, marriage equality. And you'll see it, and it just makes you wonder, was the president a pawn? I mean, has he been a pawn all along? Because they brought him in office to when it was the worst economy in the world, brought on by white folks who ruined this country and ruined the economy. They brought him in during the worst time ever to be a president. They brought him in when there was a war going on, when it should not have been going on. It was a war that was a revenge for the Bushes, the father and then the revenge of the son. And then he was brought in when it's time now where marriage equality. Um, and you know, why didn't any of the white people pass that law? It is so many gay, behind the scenes, in the closet, white people, judges, big time, senators, doctors, lawyers, mayors, governors, all around who were hiding it. There were even people in le who had, they, they didn't even want to pass bills about gay rights and they were closeted themselves. So then all of a sudden now they have a black man who passed, you know, who pushed this for this bill to be passed while he's in office. The same with the health insurance, uh, which is one of the best things that could have happened, but it was, it was only to help people in a certain time. And they, you know, they put that on the president and they fought him for that. That's one of the best things that the president did do that, is with the insurance. But again, it seems as though, was he a pawn? Is that why he was put in office? Is that why? Um, okay, I just wanted to get that off my chest, you guys. I, you know, I have family members that are gay, and I believe that that family member, they were born that way. I do. Uh, I believe that some of my friends that are gay were born that way. I do. Because they're not back and forth, switching up. You know, one day I'm gay, one day I'm not. You know, that's what I mean. All right, so uh, the Houston woman is missing in the Caribbean island uh, after snorkeling with her husband and some other family members. Amanda Waller, um, she has not been seen since last Thursday. 
Uh, she went to uh, Caracas and, and, and it was supposed to be a really happy vacation for her and her family members. They were snorkeling and then all of a sudden there was a pregnant girl who was snorkeling with them. Uh, Amanda decided that she would help the pregnant girl and go and, that while they're underwater, uh, follow her so that she can come up to the surface and get out of the water. And when they all came out the water, including the pregnant girl, and they did the count, there was no Amanda. Uh, she's black, um, beautiful young lady. I don't know what could have happened to her. They've called off the search. They have a 72-hour search, but then after that, it's up to the family members who have to pay for the searches. So um, I'm really sorry to hear about that, and I hope that some kind of good news comes out of it some kind of way, but I don't see where that can happen. DMX was arrested in New York uh, for an insane amount of money of child support. And also, uh, it was just reported that his wife, you know, his ex-wife, uh, that she just lost her home. They hadn't paid the mortgage in four years. I didn't even know you could go four years without paying the mortgage before you're evicted, but uh, they came and closed down that house. Um, also, uh, outstanding um, lender uh, amount, a receipt. Uh, pleads guilty to child sex abuse. Uh, outstanding leader, I'm sorry. Uh, he, um, a fourth grade teacher in Washington, D.C. Uh, at the Oyster Adrian Bilingual School. Giovanni Penna, 31 years old. He's worked there for, since 2008. Uh, he sent pictures of his penis to uh, a boy at the school. He was teaching one of the students. And, and he asked the boy, he texted him and asked him to send back a picture of his penis. He's been arrested. He's been with this school all this time. This is another thing I'm talking about. Like you're in these, all these perversions that are going on. This guy um, had, see, and, and he's influencing this young little boy, and, and which could influence him because this is in his head now where his first introduction to sex or sexual feelings and touchings and seeing uh, genital parts and he's just a little boy so he's gonna remember that from all his entire life so it could sway him one way or another and he might not even have been born gay but the teacher might be gay or the teacher's just a pervert or he's just trying different things he's, just, he's weird he's a pervert we know that part already so anyway um, the teacher has admitted that he did touch the little boy and uh, he has been arrested also um, President Obama is going to be going to his homeland in Kenya, uh, where his dad was born and was from. Uh, he will get uh, to see his grandmother. They said all the Kenyans are really making a real big to-do and fixing things up, and they're spending a lot of money in Kenya uh, to welcome uh, the president. Also, I saw a video uh, that says, always flush your toilet before you sit on it. Always flush it. The video was of a, they had put a camera inside the toilet, and there was a big huge spider right up underneath the rim so always flush your toilet first before you sit on it you don't want that spider going up your butt okay you guys i just wanted to say uh happy tuesday have a wonderful day and give me some input on what your feelings are uh, about what i talked about today have a great day thank you for coming to the amber shows